everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all having a great day. So today is my BoxyCharm unboxing and I'm doing this a little bit different because there was something in my BoxyCharm this month that I really wanted to show you guys on camera, kind of create this look, um, this eye look. It's nothing extravagant, but I wanted you guys to see the eyeshadows in action. So I am going to insert at the end of this unboxing a little mini tutorial or get ready with me. It's just doing this really soft pink purple romantic eye. You want to stick around to see what I got in my boxy charm and also see how I created this look. Just keep watching. Okay, so if you don't know, BoxyCharm is my favorite subscription service. I've tried Wantable and Ipsy and New Beauty Test Tube and Glossy Box and probably more that I can't think of, Julep. BoxyCharm is hands down my favorite. It's $21 a month and generally you get four to five full size products. Most of the time it's full size and it's always triple or quadruple at least the value of the box. So um, I am going to show you guys what I got in my box this month. It was a great month. I will leave BoxyCharm's link and website and all that below. But this is what I was excited about was the Coastal Sense Revealed 3 palette. So in BoxyCharm we have got the original number one, the Coastal Sense Revealed 2, and now we've got the 3, which I think is so awesome. But even if you just signed up, you are still going to love the Revealed 3 palette. Um, so this is what I used to create this eye look today. These shadows, okay, these are I think $20. Like, they're marketed to be $39.99, but they're always on sale for $20. But look how many shadows you get. Now, you do have to use an eyeshadow primer to get these to last all day, but I personally use an eyeshadow primer regardless, so that's not a big deal. Love the color selection. I think this is the perfect month to put the Revealed 3 palette in because we are transitioning into fall where we have some berries and some purple tones and some kind of coppery gold tones, and I just... I'm obsessed. I love this. The quality of these shadows are really, really nice. Honestly, um, everybody talks about like the Morphe palettes and those shadows just, they almost kind of all blended into one shadow for me and they didn't wear even with a primer as well as these Coastal Scents. I mean, look at those swatches. This is a really great bang for your buck. So, especially if you get it in a monthly subscription service. Hello. So, yes, this pretty much pays for the box itself. So, I thought originally that that was going to be my favorite thing in the box. However, when I used this Mika Beauty Gel Eyeliner in the color black, in conjunction with the, the eyeliner brush that comes with it, like this set comes in the BoxyCharm this month. When I used it, I was like, what? This is amazing, you guys. I honestly think that this might beat out the Inglot Gel Liner. Like, it is so black. It is so easy to work with. This brush just applies the perfect amount of product. I did apply this on camera today. I didn't do a wing because I typically don't do a wing, but it puts such a perfectly thin, beautiful black matte line on your eyelid. Love this product. Now this retails for $36.99, I think. Wait, don't get me lying, $35. And um, I might pay that, honestly, for this product. It's a really great eyeliner. So those are two other things we got in our box. And then the two products that I actually didn't use in this little look, I just did my eyes on camera, is this. And I haven't used this yet, but I will, and I'll, of course, update you guys. It's a leave-in conditioner with argan oil and SPF 15, which is phenomenal. I have never used a leave-in conditioner that had an SPF in it. I wish I would have had this before I went to the river last week because I did get a little bit sunburned like in the part of my hair. So I'm really interested to try this. Now it's not, it's not a spray. Like when I got it, I thought it was going to be a spray. It's kind of like a lotion-y texture, but I guess you just put it in like an SPF. I think it's Awesome. So I'm glad we got that. And then the very last thing is this product. 
Now I did try to use this yesterday, but I applied it over my foundation and it kind of disturbed my foundation. So this is the So Susan Skincare. It says skincare. What? Anyways, it's a stick highlighter is what it is. And um, it's gorgeous. But I think this is going to be one that you have to wear um, like under your powder. So right after foundation, you can apply this and then it won't disturb your foundation. Because I had a full face of makeup on. So I tried to apply this over like my setting powder and it kind of messed up right there. But I'm definitely going to try it right after I apply my foundation and see how it works. Because it is a gorgeous color. This would be pretty as an eyeshadow base and an inner corner highlight also. So I'm excited we got this and I'm excited to try it and play with it a different way than I did yesterday. So that is it for my BoxyCharm. I am going to go ahead and cut into where I kind of use this eyeshadow palette and liner in action. That way you guys can see it. Let me know what you got in your BoxyCharm or if you get BoxyCharm. If not and you get another subscription service that you think I would love, let me know in the comments because I love me some mail. I love mail. Anybody else? Seriously? I could never get enough, like, I could never get tired of receiving mail. Okay, anyways. Um, that is it for this unboxing. Stay tuned if you want to see the tutorial, but thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.